Hi, I'm Rob Groves from Relish Caterers. I love cooking with fresh, seasonal British produce. Today I'm going to show you a fantastically delicious dish that you can do at home. We're going to show you how to make a simple beef casserole. Uh, today we're going to be using ox cheek, which you can get from your butchers and you can now get in the supermarket as well. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a cut that takes a lot longer to cook than traditional stewing steaks that you might use for this. Um, but I think you'll find the results when it is cooked slowly for a longer period of time are fantastic and it really is delicious. So we've got some ox cheek, onions, more mirepoix, which is onions, celery and carrots. We've got some garlic, some bay leaf, we're going to use some thyme, we're going to use some ale, I've got some bath gem, which is near to where I live, and then some salt and some pepper. And, uh, and yeah, it's really, really straightforward, so uh, I'll show you how to do it. So first of all, we're going to chop the onions, and then take some oil, and we're going to colour these onions in this saucepan over here. And we'll take our celery. We just want to get a bit of colour on there and start the caramelisation process. It's going to give a lot more depth of flavour to the dish when it's ready. Okay, so a couple of carrots. And then just bung them in as well. And we'll start cooking those down as well. Now while that's sweating down over here, we're going to get our ox cheek, we're going to lightly flour it, and then we're going to colour it off in a separate frying pan, again, to get a bit of caramelisation and get more flavour into the end product of the dish. We want to dice it up into some nice, big, chunky pieces. When I have a casserole, I don't like little pieces in there. I want nice, big, chunky pieces. So, cut the cheek up. Don't worry about all this sinew in here. You'll see it, and it'll be very tough at this stage, but when you cook that down for the, the, the period of time that we're going to cook it for, that will just fall to pieces. I've got a hot frying pan on here with a little bit of British rapeseed oil and I've got my ox cheek roughly cut over here. I'm just going to lightly dust it with some seasoned flour and then chuck it into the pan to get some colour on there. Again, getting that depth of flavour and giving the sauce a really lovely rich colour. Okay, we've got our pan nice and hot. We're just going to lob in a knob of butter and then we're just going to brown off our meat. Okay, we're just getting some colour on there now. Turn it over. And colour it up on the other side as well. Look at that, it's beautiful. Over here you can see that our vegetables have all caramelised and sweated right down. We're going to add our bay leaf to that. We're going to add a few sprigs of thyme. And we're going to add our ale. And it's going to give a really nice sort of slight bitterness, sweetness to the dish and then it's just going to cook all the meat down in the ale. Here yeah, that goes in. And our chicken stock, this is a brown chicken stock, a roasted chicken stock. Um, if you haven't got a chicken stock, I mean you can buy the pouches of chicken stock from the supermarket. Uh, or you can use a cube and rehydrate it. But without a doubt the best way of doing this is to, with the leftover carcass on a Sunday roast, get the chicken, make a chicken stock. It doesn't take long, you can freeze it and it will give such a better result to a finished dish like this. And then take your coloured meat and then just put that in your beer and chicken stock mix. So the flour that we dusted the meat in beforehand, that's going to give the casserole a little bit of body as it cooks out. And then we're just going to make sure it's completely covered, put the lid on the pot, pop it in the oven, 140, 150 degrees for about three and a half, four hours. Make sure it's right in the middle. That's where it's going to get the most even heat distribution. Close it up. Okay, our ox cheek casserole has been in the oven for four hours. It's a slow, cook joints are lower temperature, longer time, and it's just starting to fall apart. Um, we're going to serve some up onto a plate, and then I'm going to garnish it up with some uh, chopped parsley, some chopped flat leaf parsley. So that's just falling apart. You can see there, it just falls apart, and it's absolutely delicious. And that's how you make a very simple beef casserole using ox cheek.